Once upon a time, there was a happy little elf. The elf worked at Santa's famous toy factory. He had a good job, great friends, and a wonderful, wonderful life. Then he lost his hand in a tragic toy factory accident. <coughs> this made the elf very sad. But the other elves in the toy factory quickly rushed to his side. There's no need to cry, the elves said. We're the best toy makers in the world. We can build you another hand. This made the elf very happy. And then the other elves went home, because the workday was done. And it was a weekend, a three-day holiday weekend. Actually, more of a three-and-a-half-day holiday weekend, since everyone cut out at noon to meet the holiday traffic. And then Tuesday, they had that off-site meeting, which was a complete waste of time. But the company did pay for lunch. Eventually, Wednesday rolled around, and all the other elves returned. Then they attended a birthday party in accounting, and then they went straight to work, helping their friend. First, the Toymaker elves built the elf a new hand out of Legos. But the elves couldn't find enough Lego bricks in the same color, and they lost the instructions so they could never build the hand the same way twice. And whenever the elf lost a finger, it got sucked up by the vacuum cleaner. After that, the toy makers tried everything. They built hands out of yo-yos, gliders, and tea sets. They used paddle balls, Lincoln logs, and a Rubik's Cube he could never solve. They used sock monkeys and sea monkeys and barrel after barrel of monkeys. They even made the elf a hand out of a magic eight ball. But all it would say was, Outlook, not so good. This made the elf ever so suicidal. Without two hands, the elf feared he could never again put wheels on cars, or trains, or dolls, wheels having been his major in elf college. The elf would also have to say goodbye to Dasher, and Dancer, and Prancer and Vixen, and Comet and Cupid, and Donder and Blitzen. Rudolph, Lou, Helen, Steve, D-Ride, Little C, the Carpazzo twins, Big Papa, Jerry, other Jerry, and the rest of the 873 reindeer it takes to keep a sled with three billion toys aloft at light speed. And so the little elf cried and 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 cried. But just when all hope was lost, just when he was about to call his parents to pick him up, only to realize his cell phone was in his other hand, Santa Claus himself appeared on the factory floor. Santa was busy wandering around lost when suddenly he saw the little elf crying. And so, with a twinkle in his eye, a wrinkle of his nose, and a crinkle in his smile, Santa walked right up to the sad, sad elf and said, Are you lost, little boy? I'm not a little boy, I'm an elf, said the elf. Oh, that's right, chuckled Santa. I recognize the hat now. So what can I do for you, ma'am? And so the elf told Santa about his accident and his fear of losing his job. And then he cried and cried and cried and cried and cried and cried. Listen, interrupted Santa. Write down what you want in a Christmas letter and give it to my assistant Gladys. Great gal, that Gladys. Did you know her dad was in textiles? And then Santa walked off in the wrong direction. So that night, the elf sat down to write Santa a letter, using his left hand for the very first time. Dear Santa, the elf's letter appeared to say, This Christmas I would like a brand new right hand. P.S. After our talk, you dropped your wallet, and your car keys, and one of your boots. Then came Christmas Eve, and the elf couldn't sleep. He tossed and turned and reached for his glass of water with the wrong arm. But finally, it was Christmas morning. Glorious Christmas morn! 
The elf quickly rushed down the stairs, rounded the corner, and saw to his amazement a great big present from Santa beneath the Christmas tree, along with several other kids' gifts that Santa had delivered to the wrong address. And when the elf opened his present, what did he find? His brand new hand in 482 unassembled parts, including 3,000 washers, complete with instructions written in four different languages, none of which the elf spoke, and a call for 18D batteries, of which none were provided. But after several calls to the manufacturer's hotline, because the kit didn't come with a pinky, the elf soon realized he could indeed build something with just one hand. And so the elf went back to the toy factory with both a new hand and a new sense of pride. And there is where he still works, joyfully putting wheels on toys for good girls and boys. But as he happily goes about his business, one little question continues to nag at him again and again to this very Day. Whatever happened to his original hand and his cell phone? <laughs>